In this exercise, we will display the data of the view proxy using SE16. So it is as simple as viewing any table data. So go to SE16, give the view proxy name and hit execute. You will see the output. The same thing we will do, we will display the data of the view proxy in the ADT itself. So if I go to ADT, what I need to do, I need to right click on my view proxy name. Okay, you right click on that with open with then data preview. If you hit data preview, you will get this results. So if you know, notice that there are 100 rows only. Why? Because by default in ADT, you can show maximum of 100 rows. We can always change it or you can always increase it. Okay, you can do this. So in the lower example, I have shown you that I made it 9999 and SAP gives us a um, warning saying that this will impact the performance. So you should not do it, but if you want to, you can do it. Uh, I did not show you this part where this view proxy is created uh, in the edit. So let me come here. So this is the part. So when you activate and save it, it gets saved in the package. And this is the view proxy which got generated in the HANA studio or the ADT. In the next video, I will show you in SE16 how to see the data and also how we can see the data in ADT.